What's up, family? My name is Elijah Ami, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a grown folk channel. This is where we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and keep it real. Here on this channel, everybody matters. Everybody's family. Here on this channel, we express love because at our core, we are love. I love you guys, and thank you for being with me on this beautiful journey called life. Peace. What's up, family? Man, I want to jump on today. We're going to have a real heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's going to get in-depth, and it's probably going to trigger some of you. It's probably going to piss some of you off. You, already, you know what I mean? But you already know it is what it is, and I don't give a damn. You know? It is what it is. Man, common sense and common, DC, common decency ain't so common anymore. You know what I mean? Man, it ain't common anymore. We live in a time where, man, unfortunately, we've made everything common. You know, everything just normal. You know, everything is normalized. And man, that's to the detriment of humanity, you know? I was having a conversation the other day and this young lady was trying to convince me that it's okay for anybody to say the N-word. And it's a trip because she was like, man, you know, you guys shouldn't get so offended because people say, call you the N-word. And you know, this is an African-American woman telling me this, you know? And she was like, you know, it's just a word you know, it's okay, everybody says it now, and we'll do it, do it, you know what I mean? And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at her and I'm trying to explain to her how it's not okay, you know what I mean? It's not okay. I heard what she was saying that you shouldn't get triggered, you shouldn't be bothered by what people say, what people's words say to you should not affect you. I get that, I understand that, and I agree with that. But that doesn't change the fact that we've normalized stupid ass fucking shit. We've normalized a lot of shit that we should have never normalized, you know what I mean? And stay with me, we're going somewhere. Just because we've normalized it doesn't mean that it's right. Just because we've made it acceptable does not mean that it's right. There's a whole lot of young guys running around, women too, of all nationalities, you know what I mean? Especially here in America, I don't care what color you are. White kids, Hispanic kids, you know, Puerto Ricans, everybody, you know what I mean? Dominican Republic, everybody's calling each other the N-word, you know what I mean? Everybody's calling each other the N-word. Again, it don't matter your nationality. That shit ain't cool. That shit ain't cool, you, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, we've normalized, you know, people running around here sagging their fucking pants and showing people their fucking draws. That shit ain't cool. We've normalized it. We've made it acceptable, you know? And again, that shit started in the fucking penitentiaries in California where homosexuals were showing people what they had available and that, man, they were free. You could have some of that ass if you wanted it, you know, if you was willing to pay for it, you know what I mean? And, but we've taken it and we've normalized that. We've taken it and we've made it socially acceptable where young guys and young women now are running around with their pants hanging down their fucking ass, showing everybody their fucking drawers. Ain't shit about that fucking manly. If that's what you're doing to you stay on, you know what I mean? But don't call yourself a fucking king. Don't call yourself a fucking man. You ain't no fucking man doing that stupid ass shit. Grow the fuck up. Again, just because we've normalized shit don't mean that it should be normalized. You know what I mean? We've normalized a whole bunch of stupid ass shit. You got women running around here calling each other the bitch word. You know what I mean? What the fuck is that shit? We have to grow up. We got women calling each other, they friends, they sisters, they homies calling each other ho. Oh, that's my bitch. That's my ho, oh, dude. Man, what kind of shit is this? You know what I mean? We've normalized a whole bunch of stupid ass shit. And now in our society in America, we got motherfuckers trying to normalize grown ass men sleeping with 15, 16, and 14 year old girls. Ain't shit about that fucking cool. Ain't shit about that, you know, to me, again, to me, you know what I mean? Ain't shit about that normal. Ain't shit about that acceptable. You, you know what I mean? How in the fuck can you be 30, 40, in your 20s, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old sleeping with some fucking 15 year old, 14 year old? We've normalized a whole bunch of fucking shit that we should have never fucking normalized. Why am I having this conversation? Because chosen ones, if you call yourself a chosen one, if you call yourself a star seed, if you call yourself a child of God, you know, an enlightened one, you know, and all this other stuff. If you say that you're all this stuff, man, you didn't come here to be fucking normal. You didn't come here to be fucking accepted. 
grow the fuck up deal with your fucking issues deal with your fucking insecurities understand that you came here to be a beacon of hope a beacon of light and you're gonna go against the fucking grain if you're not rocking a fucking boat something's wrong with you if you're not going against what's quote unquote normal something's fucking wrong with you grow the fuck up you didn't come here to be like everybody else you came here to stand the fuck out how can you be a chosen one? How can you be the anointed one? And you just like everybody else. You think just like everybody else. You walk and talk just like everybody else. You think just like everybody else. You believe in the same stupid ass bullshit that everybody else do. How can you be fucking separate? How can you be fucking different? How can you fucking be a chosen one and you thinking and acting like everybody else? Grow the fuck up. Man. We've normalized a whole bunch of stupid shit. We have. We've normalized fucking ignorance. Ignorance is fucking bliss now. Ignorance is the fucking greatest thing in the world now. You could be as fucking ignorant as you want to be and get all kind of fucking clout. You could be as ignorant as... I was about to say useless, but you could be as ignorant and unproductive and in a growth and development aspect and get all the fame and clout and the money you want. You know what I mean? There's a whole lot of motherfuckers ain't, that ain't about shit, but showing some fucking titties and some ass and dancing fucking provocative and they getting all the fucking fame, all the fucking money and all this other stupid ass bullshit. And we've made that acceptable. We've made that quote unquote fucking normal. These motherfuckers have nothing to offer society in a healing, loving, compassionate way. But we give them all the fucking attention they want. We have to grow up. We've normalized young women talking stupid and being disrespectful. Not just women, but guys too. Disrespecting their parents and just off the fucking chain. We've normalized that. We've made that fucking socially acceptable. Nah. I'm not that one, you know what I mean? We ain't that one. I don't give a fuck about what everybody else say. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about what these preachers preaching and all this other bullshit, all the politics. I don't give a fuck about that bullshit. You know what I mean? Right is right and wrong is wrong. I don't give a fuck how you sugarcoat this shit. I don't give a fuck if quote unquote norm and society says it's okay now. It's okay for 50 year old guys to be sleeping with 15 year old girls that shit ain't cool it ain't never gonna be fucking cool it ain't cool it ain't never gonna be fucking cool for old ass men old ass women be sleeping with little fucking kids a predator is always a fucking predator grow the fuck up and especially in the fucking hood and in the quote unquote black community we gotta get our fucking shit straight we more concerned about these fucking politicians and everybody else than we are these fucking predators running through our streets, violating our young women, violating our young men. We give they asses a fucking pass. We don't say shit about what the fuck they doing. We know it's fucking up these kids' lives and all this other shit, and we don't give a fuck about these kids, and we just like, they'll be all right, and man, we just hope they make it through this, and we'll do, we don't say shit about them. But we're more concerned about what the fucking cops are doing. We're more concerned about what the fucking politicians are doing than what's going on in our fucking hood. We made it okay for you to come into the fucking hood, into the fucking projects, wherever you at, and slaying that fucking poison. That's socially acceptable. That's cool. So I'm killing my own fucking people. We killing our own, and we made that shit normal. We made that shit acceptable. But ain't nobody speaking on that shit. You want to speak on every fucking thing else. You want to blame the problem on everything else. Or well, the problem is the politicians. The problem is 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 white privilege. The problem is is man, it's the wealthy, is this money, is all this other stupid shit. No, that's not the fucking problem. Ignorance is the fucking problem. Ignorance. All this shit happened because of ignorance. Greed, hatred, racism, jealousy, religious intolerance, and all this other bullshit. Been a fucking predator. All this shit. Everything wrong in society stems from the fact of fucking ignorance. Ignorance is the fucking enemy. Your fucking ignorance is your own fucking enemy. 
your the white people ain't your enemy black people ain't your enemy hispanics ain't your fucking no other race is your fucking enemy your own fucking enemy is within you let me say again your own fucking enemy is inside of you that's your fucking in ignorance it's your ignorance you won't grow the fuck up you won't deal with your trauma you won't deal with your insecurities you won't deal with your fears you won't deal with none of that shit but you'll blame the finger at everybody else you'll point the finger at everybody else as to the woes in your life man we have to grow up and we have to understand and remember that man we didn't come here to be like everybody else we're not fucking normal you wasn't meant to be fucking normal you came here to shake shit up. You came here to flip this bitch upside down. Grow you some fuck, fucking testicles, man the fuck up, and do what you came here to do. And stop being a fucking pussy. Yeah, I said it. I know that's hard. Stop acting like a fucking punk and man the fuck up. Everybody's so hard. Everybody's so fucking tough until it comes to standing on your own two fucking feet against the fucking grain. Don't nobody want to go against the fucking grain. Everybody want to fit in. Everybody want to be socially acceptable. That's bullshit. That's a coward move. You can't be a chosen one being a coward. You can't be a chosen one being a punk. It don't matter how many people come against you. It don't matter how many people stand against you. You came here for that shit. You came here to turn fucking religion upside down. You came here to go against the fucking policy. And I'm not saying go against it, but speak the fucking truth about this shit. And speaking the fucking truth about this shit, it's going to piss some people off. It's going to turn some shit over. Grow up. How the fuck you going to talk about you like Christ and do do? Christ went in the fucking temple and flipped the fucking table over. Christ went in the temple and chased their motherfucking asses out the temple with a whip that he made. That's what Christ did. What the fuck are you doing? You trying to be like them. You trying to be accepted by them. You trying to be everybody fucking friend. Man. Got to grow up. We have to grow up. My hope and prayer is that you understand that, man, if you're a chosen one, if you're a king, if you're a queen, if you're a boss, man, understand you got to be different. Understand you are different. Understand that you're not normal. Ain't shit about you normal. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.